time to mix drinks and change lives. <laughs> By fucking them up. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, bye, Andrew. Bye, Andrew. Goop this guy. Hey, Josh. Oh. <laughs> I agreed to this without reading. So, um, I can tell you this guy's kind of a gruff. Hey, you. Um, get me a beer. Let's just say he's not very politically correct. Oh, sure. Right on it. I'll just do it for goddamn boys. <laughs> He wants a beer. He looks like quite the big guy, though. Get him fucked up. <laughs> beer. This <laughs> is a two hundred dollar beer. So you can just by the way just straight up serve him a bigger drink. That's not. That's over ten though. Four, no. six, eight. Oh no, it is ten exactly. Um. So build a small beer real quick. Don't do the full thing. Um. And I'll show you what I was talking about with big drinks. So you don't even have to do that math. Do two Bronson. Yeah, two Bronson. Planner guide and four comma train. No, not one. No, get rid of the powder delta. You're gonna have to, too many. You have to reset. Oh, okay. did I give him a? T oh, I didn't. Oops. Just here. Okay, so you see the the bars underneath the shaker cup? Yeah. You see how none of them are filled in? Mm -hmm. That means you have exactly ten because they start filling in when they go over ten. Got it. So if you build a drink and there's no filled in bars, that means it is under ten. But I can't add anything more. Oh, you can double the drink. How do you double it? Yeah, how do you double? You do the same drinks again. He can't. He said he can't add anything else. Oh, oh. there you go. That's well a bit too many. <laughs> You're gonna have to reset now. You know that? Yeah. <laughs> and aged. Let's <laughs> 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 just give. Say, hey, here is some what? rubbing alcohol. <laughs> 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 go fuck yourself. It's an addendum. <laughs> It doesn't affect the flavor, so what does it taste like? Dude, you drink that, <laughs> you don't remember the next week. <laughs> That's just a system reset. <laughs> That's a trip to the ER. <laughs> How much of this blood is alcohol? No, that's, a, tri it, that's, a, that's a trip to the morgue right yeah. there. <laughs> I'd like to order a new liver. <laughs> he goes back from the dead as a zombie. <laughs> uh, make this dude a drink, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going. All right, any it, it's a uh, all mixed, okay. Beer. Yep. Beer. Here you go. No, no, this isn't going to cut it. Give me a big one. Um, sure. That beer wasn't enough, apparently. I should it. <laughs> should have fucking. Can, you can actually skip that line of dialogue if you give him a big beer. That's kind of teaching you the how this works. All right. Well, uh, it was two of those, two of those, one of those, two. Of no, it was one of the Bronson. Oh. Or no, it was two of the Bronson. You're right. Never mind. It was two. No, of the you, Bronson, you have a right card. to well, um, Two of the Flanner Guide, four card, Chroma Tree. Yep. You're good so far. So is it just double the amount? Yep. Double everything. Yeah. Well, no, you already have. That's way too many Alvine. Oh, that's okay. So. Two Alvine, four Bronson, two, two Power Delta, four Planet Guide, eight Climb Tree. And since this is exactly ten, you see how it's completely filled up? Yep. That's the max size of drink you can make. Okay. Cool. So that's gonna. Stop. Yeah. Don't want to get. How you... about this one? You have a five second window in the mix and shit. Ah, yes. Now this one's fit for a man like me. <laughs> right. You're lucky I was in a meeting close by. This hellhole could certainly use a presence like mine. Although, to be fair, work has taken me to worse hellholes like New Jersey 3. <laughs> huh? Fucking Jersey. What kind of work do you do, mister? You're talking to Donovan D. Dawson, chief editor and owner of the Augmented Eye. Oh wow, the owner. Nothing gets published there without my blessings. I even have the stash to find pictures of Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> the day started with quite the interesting fellow, it seems. So you're the only one to blame for the barrage of articles on Alice Rabbit, then? Hey, people love those articles. They love reading about that urban legend. 
can you blame them the idea of some wild card hacker working for their own goals and nobody else's? That's the kind of corny shit that brings the clicks from all kinds of people. I'm hip with the hop. <laughs> Those clicks bring money, dog, and money brings nice stuff. Stuff like cars and houses and plastic surgery for the missus and her kids and to make my stash even bushier. <laughs> <laughs> To pay people to finally get me pictures of Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not complaining about the fact you write about the hack, just that you write about them every single day. Some of it isn't even news, just speculations or copycats. I can't read your newspaper's daily feed without running to at least one article about Alice Rabbit. Well, first of all, I don't write about it, my interns do. The poor bastards think it'll help them make full-time employees. Ha ha ha, we don't pay people full-time. <laughs> I'm just capitalizing on this topic while it's popular, because I'm a capitalist. And second, you're tired of one article about a supposed hacker, but not all the daily stories about murders and other horrors. Well, I always filter out that section. I don't want to start my day scared and bitter. I have enough pressure and problems as is. I don't need to add Glitch City's lovely citizens to the list. Harder than you look, kid. But if more people were like you, I'd go bankrupt from the lack of traffic. Still, maybe my job would be easier. How so? People get decent it desesnit. People get bored of a certain kind of news and are seeing it completely. Desensitized. Yeah, I know how to say it. He didn't. That's why I was reading what he was saying, dumbass. <laughs> when I started in this job, it only took the news of some elderly woman being killed to guarantee clicks. Kids these days, now you need an elderly woman carrying a sick baby boy getting hit by a truck. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Death's not enough. They need a full sob story. Damn, Spider-Man keeps ruining it for me. That's why I like these urban legends. They're easier to write about and you can make up any shit you want. Spam them while they're hot. And even people like you, gotta drop them like they're hot. People <laughs> who avoid the murder stories, will see them. That brings money. And like I said, money equals good. Huh, I guess he has a point. What about the opinion columns? Aren't those a good source of traffic too? Oh, I ain't those brats. They're just right about how they're better than everyone else. They might also write about how everyone that likes certain something should be sodomized. The worst part about it is that they know half of our clicks come from them, so they get all diva-like on my ass. I think you're being too harsh. What about... No, wait. I was thinking of another newspaper. Yeah, the columnists on your page are annoying. <laughs> See? The kid on the restaurant critique column, um, uh, shit, forgot that brat's name. Restaurant, I believe that's. That kid couldn't care less about his name. Anyway, his column is the least visited of the bunch. He gets less hits than the obituaries. However, he still insists that I keep paying for his adventures to outrageous restaurants. I wouldn't have any problem with that if he actually wrote about it half the place that he visits. How so? He rarely writes about the places the newspaper sends him to. I've even heard he tries to get free meals by proclaiming that he's a food critic. A bastard only gets laughed at when he says that. I do remember some guy coming out and here asking for free drinks and saying he was a critic or whatever. Did he look like a fat child with a really small face? <laughs> <laughs> That's a bit hurtful. No. <laughs> Wasn't this one, then. Anyway, all this talk made me thirsty. Try to give me a beer this time, please. Coming right up, even though what I said fucking gave you the first two times. <laughs> Make right. it big. First fucking try, bitches. Oh, what an iced beer he's feeling like. <laughs> Watered down one. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's the big things that make life worthwhile. What about big troubles? Did I stutter, kid? 
Did I stutter? <laughs> right. So tell me, do you see many celebrities in this hellhole? Please stop referring to this place as a hellhole. We have a name. It's called Hellhole. The place smells like soap and dog piss. I'm within my constitutional rights as an American to call it a hellhole. I'm doing my best in here. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. Who was that? <laughs> Nobody important. Just gotta skip right over your fucking lines. You don't matter. Don't be offended by what I say, kid. I'm insulting the building, not you. Buildings don't have rights. <laughs> you can think of it as a small hole in hell rather than a hellish hole if you would like. Clip button. <laughs> I don't got a clip button. Where the fuck is the clip button? Flip it, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I can always go to the after the stream. If you had any viewers, they'd be annoyed by this, I'm sure. <laughs> I think Matthew may still be around. Maybe you don't count Definitely. Matthew. He's not a person. <laughs> Charming. I didn't realize we had started again. <laughs> Help me looking at my phone. Tee hee. Like, no, oh. celebrities. Not really. At least not that I know of. Why? Wow. We had a short guy come in, say his name was uh, Thomas Cruz. <laughs> well, to begin with, you have a serious VIP as a client, and I don't see you losing your shit. You're not making me feel special, honey. You know how you can make me feel special, but um. Tsh and second, because I'm always up for gossip regarding famous people. Especially the red carpet kind of famous. Those folks, pre people, those folks people pretend to love but actually want to see fall from grace. There should have been a comma in there. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like the news up here urgent do that. Pretend to love, fall from grace? Why do you think that gossip about famous people always sells? People pretend that they love celebs, but what they really want is to see their idols torn down to their level. They want to see them suffer to get their comeuppance for daring to be so much more successful. That they want to see Spider-Man broken at my feet. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I think gossip is just something everyone enjoys, but nobody wants to admit to enjoying. You thought wrong, but even if you were right, it wouldn't change the fact that people love that kind of stuff. They want to escape their lives by living somebody else's. Sadly, I fail to see the appeal in that whole thing. What do I care if this guy I saw in some random movies wearing socks with sandals, or if they're dating God knows who? Although they sh honestly should be, you know, sensitive to prison. <laughs> yeah, it's like shot on sight. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't wear socks, so there we go. <laughs> Granted, socks with sandals is practically a public indecency, but still. <laughs> Oh, please, as a bartender, I bet you have a strong voyeuristic streak. Your kind always loves to hear that stuff. Public indecency is what gets you business. <laughs> Just like hairdressers, the bastards. <laughs> 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 what do you mean I can't come in though, even though I don't have hair? <laughs> yeah, give me information. <laughs> Sir, I'm, a bar I'm, a I'm here to cut your hair. You seem to have none. <laughs> <laughs> this sounds hypocritical coming from you. Even if that's the case, I don't sensationalize what people do. I love having this southern accent because I can make awkward pauses while I'm trying to read, <laughs> and it sounds totally normal. <laughs> I don't make it more than that person you know from TV acts like a human, end quote. Sensationalize is the key word here. Just the other day, I saw this committee judge bitching over what some girl was wearing to the store. No matter what you say, these people don't exist solely to entertain the public. But this problem exists because they're the ones constantly cultivating the idea that they're perfect and untouchable. Going to exotic locales, dressing in elegant ways, indulging in every luxury they can think of. All that just leaves the public craving for those little moments when they make a mistake and fall to their level. 
can't say that's a lie, but sometimes the crowd just wants to see their human. Hey, that dude that plays the nice guy is indeed a really nice guy. Galleries. <laughs> to be fair, the gossip articles don't help sensationalizing everything. Feels like they're just instigating a behavior that shouldn't even be acknowledged in the first place. You like your big words, eh, brat? Well, two can play that game of... Hey, you're a bartender, right? What, what the fuck do you think I've been doing? <laughs> Are you just now asking that? I've served you three drinks, sir. <laughs> If you had doubts that I was a bartender, you need to go see someone about that. <laughs> You're just walking up to people, they're giving you three drinks without you knowing who they are. And the Jill just, the other Jill just walk out of the bathroom and falls over. <laughs> it's just like, okay, I just that's going to lead to you and some serious shit. So this is something I've just realized. He's not wearing suspenders, he's wearing a tie undone. Mm -hmm. I just realized that. No, I'm a lab rat hell-bent on world conquest. Sarcasm would waste my time, my money, and your energy. Refrain from using it. What are we drinking tonight, Pinky? <laughs> Same thing we drink every night. <laughs> <laughs> What's that from? Pinky, Pinky the, brain. the brain. Come on. I'm a lab rat hope and world domination. Uh, anyway, I've just realized that a bartender like you must have heard. The wrong boy. <laughs> oh, fuck. I got distracted by Pinky in the brain. I've been sniffing the carmatrine all night. <laughs> Anyway, I just realized that I've been accepting drinks from people I don't know who they are. <laughs> and that a bartender like you must have heard quite a few stories in her career. Talk about changing topics. Journalism much? Maybe. Why? Wouldn't you like a column talking about those? I bet they would sell quite well. It would be like that priest who published confessionary stories and then got excommunicated and lynched. <laughs> People usually tell me all this stuff because they know I'm just a simple bartender. A personal stranger of sorts. We could have you ghostwriting half of our staff to do that. They do? You don't really think Lana Smithy is just one person, do you? Figures. A anyway, eventually, the people from the stories would know it's them and blame me. Not only would that hurt us as a business, it would hurt me. I really like hearing clients rant about their lives. Oh, it would hurt the clients too, I guess. They're people. <laughs> well, if you ever retire, that offer is waiting for you. Yeah, you like, like, yeah, like you'll remember me two weeks from now. Sure. Do you want another drink, Mr. Donovan? Mr. Donovan. <laughs> Only my wife calls me that. Mr. Dot 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 Donovan. <laughs> dot Dot Dot. Did, did I say something wrong? Not at all. I just really like the sound of that. People call me Mrs. Donovan all my life. <laughs> Mr. Donovan. Dot Dot Dot. Mr. Donovan. Is it really that special? What the fuck do they call you at work? Never mind, I'm sure you're about to hear me. <laughs> At work, everyone calls me Mr. Dawson, or Boss, because Dawson is my last name, I'm assuming. I can't Donovan. remember. Man, Donovan D. Dawson. Uh, ah, yeah. never mind, Dawson is my first name. <laughs> I remember from earlier. <laughs> it also says right there. <laughs> I mean, the name just says Donovan. I don't know if that's his first or last name. Also, I'm assuming your name's Jill, and her last name's not Jill. <laughs> To be no, fair. it's 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 Gillian. <laughs> no, the main character. <laughs> I know it's it's Jill Gillian and Gillian Jill. <laughs> is it really? No. <laughs> Boss is just a title. Obviously, it's too impersonal <laughs> and cold. Is it? it? Is it is? I mean, Mr. Dawson was my father and grandfather. It's too general, but Mr. Donovan. Now that's more like it. I will. Fucking refrain from ever going by my last name. <laughs> They're referring to me, to the man in front of them, to my, not to my family, not to my position as boss, to me. Do you want your employees to get personal with you, Mr. Donovan? <laughs> wink, wink. Oh, God's no, except for that secretary. I want them to fear me, not because I'm their boss or the name appearing on their paychecks. I like how you hid 
the the except for that secretary so well in that sentence. <laughs> I'm like I almost didn't pick up on that. <laughs> but rather because I strike mortal dread in them. <laughs> Starting tomorrow, I'm going to make everyone call me that. Oh yeah, you were asking something. What was it? Drink another one. Do you? <laughs> Drink. Do you speak it? Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, yes. I like how there's an off-brand, the Kirin Rin. <laughs> Kirin? I don't know what that's supposed there's, to be. There's a drink called Kirin. Ah. There's also a unicorn monster, the Monster Hunter, called Kirin. This is true. But I need to cut self off. I just remembered I have a night shift later. <laughs> Give me something bitter and big, but not alcoholic. I need to wake myself up. Fuck this guy up. <laughs> I can do that. I think th there is a Simpson reference. And two of these drinks. One's a secret one. But the bottle, if you go to the bottle drinks real quick. Go to the up in the top, Kyle. Top yeah. right. Huh. Or bottle drinks. Bottle, one to the right. There is that as a Simpson reference. Off the door. Alright, so. So he wants something bitter. That's all the bitter drinks. So we can just give him what we want. Well, remember, no alcohol, so no karma drink. It has to be under. Uh, it has to be over ten ingredients. We had to be able to make it over ten ingredients. Oh. That one you can't. Can't. You can't triple it because, because you can't triple it, but you can double it. So it doesn't get big enough. That one has karma drink, so it's alcoholic. That one has four of each, so it's alcoholic. You're also not going through bitter drinks only. Oh. You go, it goes by thing. So you, yeah. Gut punch. Gut punch will work. Yeah, because that's six. You can double it. You have six and double it with no alcohol. So that is... 10 Bronson. Yeah, that's just straight up. Okay. Nope. I already fucked that Reset. up. <laughs> All right. And My throat is going to be dead. Yeah. Kyle, you should voice next character because I want to yeah, hear you that, say I that. Already, I already planned on that. I was like, well, man, you... The, the, <laughs> the next character, I need to hear you water. say the things. Water. I've been drinking. No, you've been talking, drink. <laughs> 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 Everyone peer pressure into being dr drinking water. <laughs> All right, let's just uh, give himself an alcohol. <laughs> it is optional. Don't it is optional. We could fuck him up. No, nah, it's not. When you fuck up, I'll be as much money. And you do have to pay Can, for your. Will he know? Yeah, will he know? Yeah. Okay. Because yeah, so. it doesn't change the flavor. It doesn't, but it changes the alcohol content. And you're making the drink right in front of him. <laughs> <laughs> but wait, so wait. You can add alcohol to any drink that they'll know? No. You see, when it says optional karma chain, it means you can add zero. You can add any number between one and twenty. Well, he'll know if you add it. Yes. Will he still drink it? No. He'll still drink it. But they'll get pissed at you. That's yep. All, all aged and mixed. Ah, uh, that's what it is. Serve. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's way faster. Yeah. Okay, uh, then two, two, two of those. Aged. Alright, got punched. Get punched. <laughs> Bam! So, again, I saw a YouTube video where they made three drinks from this, and there's a variation of the gut punch that he made. Hmm. Fine. Here you go. Paint me blue and call me Sue. I'm a goddamn poet, you act can actually do it. <laughs> This will help me stay up late tonight. Heh heh heh. Say kids in this bar have any investors. Didn't call it a hellhole. That's what we call progress. <laughs> there was some bloke named Sven that wanted to give us money if we stamped his face all over the place. Aside from that, no. These bars are pretty much like any fast food chain, so there are no local investors. Why? Wanted to let you know how lucky you bastards are. Investors suck harder than my first rush <laughs> now. Oh my god. <laughs> I told you what this game would be. <laughs> Those bastards think they're so important because they put their money in the company. Well, that's... I mean, you give me money so you can make more. Let me do my thing and I'll give you your money. 
But no, they have to stick their noses and start changing the silliest of stuff. What good is it to be the boss if you still have to work for someone else? You still have to answer the unions, the government, and those kind of organizations. You know that thing, the government. <laughs> <laughs> it somehow exists. <laughs> and the white knights, apparently. <laughs> yeah, but that's paperwork. I make somebody else do it and call it a day. These losers ask for meetings. <laughs> they start talking about stuff they don't like. Stuff they found offensive. And there's always that one guy or gal that says, Hey, why don't you do what that other newspaper does? Fuck you, other newspaper. Recently they told me that they needed more clicks. More clicks! I make sure to keep stuff spicy while still keeping production quality up, but it's never enough for them. Well, you know what? They want more clicks, I'll give them more clicks. I'll show them what happens when I do what they want and don't reject ideas. They'll know who the hell Donovan D. Dawson is. Should I be worried? Nah. At least he paid before storming off. Otherwise, oh, that would shit. be a crime. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, is that wait, a thing does that it, can happen in this game? Does People it not pay? cost money to make the drink? Or um, is that how much money no. you're making? There's no there's no money for making a drink or fucking it up. So Okay. Yeah. Oh you can't change the channel on the TV. It is mostly made for story, I guess. Yeah, just go if you click on the TV. Yep. <laughs> I'd buy that for another. <laughs> Ramen for fifty sixty bucks. Yep. Jesus. Inflation. <laughs> Rock 'em, sock 'em robots. <laughs> Cool. You watch We Protect. Alice Rabbit. Yep. Alright.